are you doing? What are you touching? Okay. Sorry, I have not explained them. These are mm -hmm. called BLDC motor. BLDC motor. BLDC is the short form for brushless DC. Mm -hmm. Brushless direct current motor. BLDC motor. They are used in many applications. So they have. I have different type of them here. They, I got them from uh, the, the photocopier machine. So I got them from the scrap market. Cheap prices. So I have them here. I have them in many devices. It's an example of a BLDC motor generally. Okay. So what are they meant to be used for? You can use it. They use it to drive so many things. In photocopier that it came from, they use it to drive. That's what rules the photocopier machine. They pull the paper, and you know when it is printed, then it brings it out to you for. But now we want to retrofit it to be able to use it in many places. For example, this one in this my uh, uh, this my cargo bike. I have used it to recharge my battery. Look at, come and see it here. I have this one that when my bike is moving, it's rolling. When my bike is moving, it's rolling. As it is rolling, it's a generator. It's generating enough current to charge my battery back at and using the battery. So yeah. that's one of the uses. I can also use it as a driver. In here, I'm using it as a generator. So I can also use it as a driver's motor. It can run fan. It can run another generator. It can run so many things. It can run vehicle. So in every day-to-day -day life, all the machines we are using, they need motor. And these are very efficient motor. They don't consume too much energy. And they give a lot of torque. Torque is power. Horsepower. So they give a lot of torque. At small... Uh, you know, power. They take in small power and they give more. So that's what they are used for. Okay. Okay, can we connect it with um, fan blade and it will work for us? Yeah, but you have to do some modification, which is uh, the subject of this video. I'm going to open it up. Okay. And uh, you see how it is like this. Uh, it has been configured to work on a printer machine. So, with this uh, panel on it, if there is need to, you can do with it outside of uh, the photocopier machine. So, we have to open it up and reconfigure it and make some changes. The speed normally is very low. So, we can make some changes that make the speed very high and the torque very high. So, like that. Uh, we are going to try to apply it to what uh, we have around us so that you see how it can be used. So you can also use it to, uh, you can put fan blade at some of the time you can be blowing air yeah, in your house. Thank you. Okay. You can modify it, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. That's to be the next thing. Okay. Now for the purpose of this video, I have uh, the ones that I have uh, already modified this is it you can come close and see it you see the way it is like this this panel has covered the coil inside look at this is the panel and this one has been taken out so that i can you know reconfigure the coil and bring the wire out so i can put a bldc uh, speed controller later connects a BLDC speed controller to drive it as a motor. Now I can also turn it, use something to turn it, and it becomes a generator. Now, this panel, why you should not destroy it? Don't destroy it, it is very useful. You can use it, you may be able to use it as a driver if you are using this particular voltage. Can you see it? There's a voltage that is here plus 38 volts then minus 38 volt ground so you can use this it's the same thing here so you can use this one to feed it and uh, to 38 volts and uh, it will run but it will run normally as if it is in a photocopier machine but the purpose of this video is to see how we can retrofit it to drive something that is bigger than photocopying machine 
to have to reconfigure it like we have done on this one you can as you reconfigure it you can still use it as generator if you are using it as generator this panel can serve as a bridge rectifier why it can serve as a bridge rectifier because you know you connect your three face here the output will be here so if you turn this if you are turning this one the once the whole phases are connected the current so generated will be stored with the help of this capacitor this capacitor has its limit that's why you can no use it as it comes out from the photocopy machine it has its limit so now what we are going to do now the small one the other small one i have uh, put it on the on the wooden uh, form like this so that we can use a uh, a speed controller to drive it this was it here so uh, this one we can just put it like this and use the controller to drive it then we can also check it as a generator later and see the power after reconfiguring it we will see the power as a generator and the power as motor now i'm going to get a speed controller so that we drive it as motor then later we'll take this one to my vice there We'll use the device to hold it, then we'll turn it and see the current that come out from this three phase after rectifying it with this bridge rectifier. And this is a 12 volt uh, battery. So I'm connecting it. I've connected the phases to the controller here. Now I'm using the potentiometer to control it. So after modifying it, this is how it should run. This is 12 volts. This is a 24 volt uh, BLDC, so it's running like this. If the fan blade is connected to it like this, it will blow you. So, it's tough. That's high top. So you can run anything like this. So you can come closer so that you see it from the very close uh, point of view. Mm -hmm. All right, so, I'm going to do the same thing, step, need step, the same table to run this one. This one, this configuration is a delta, uh, no, no, it's a white configuration. I'm, I have done a delta configuration here. This is a white configuration, this is a delta configuration. You see the differences in speed and torque now when I connect this controller to this one. So now let us go and connect this one to the controller. Now to off it, just now. That's all. Now this one, this uh, bigger one, the pieces have been connected to the controller and the controller has been connected to the battery. Now we are going to run it to see, to see how it runs. See it's connected. You can see it's vibrating because it has enormous energy. You see, it's moving. This is just 12 volts. It can run up to 60 volts. You can imagine if I give it 60 volts. So I'm going to use it to drive a new generator that I'm going to do in my next uh, upload. Just watch out. If you want to know, to learn how to configure this thing so that it will become useful to you, sign up for my online course it's a one-on-one -on -one, practically based this thing it's negotiable but you're ready to learn that's all that's the most important thing sign up you see my product there and then call me then if you have questions please drop your comments below if you have suggestions drop your comments below so i'm doing this for the benefit of my audience that needs some stuff, but that's some of my audience that will also teach me. So please, your suggestions are welcome. Thank you very much. So now, the next clip is, we are going to use this uh, BLDC Moto as generator, and you see how powerful it is, because it's a delta configuration I modified it to. Thank you very much. Next thing. Okay, this is uh, the generator. It's, I'm using this as a generator now. 
This is the bridge rectifier, the panel that follows this cup. I've extracted it as and I'm using it as bridge rectifier. So the input, the DC input is now the output that I connected this uh, 60 watt bulb to. So by the time I use hand to rotate it with a rope, it should give us like this as a generator, it's a powerful generator because the winding is uh, delta winding. So I've been reconfigured to delta winding. So you want to know about delta winding or the difference between delta winding and uh, uh, the star winding, sign up for my online course. You will learn more, even more. So by just playing it like this, you like. Yes. So that's it. That's all. So I'm going to connect it to to run a generator proper. So this one will be as motor. In this experiment, I'm going to use as motor, not as generator, but I'm just showing you this to show that it can also generate. So it's a generator, it's a motor generator. That's all. So I have this battery, 12 volts. I'm going to use this battery to as an input. Now, this is the same uh, motor. This is the same motor. Now we are using it as motor to drive this big generator, a 3000 kilowatts, a 3 kilowatt uh, generator. It's a DC generator. Yeah, 12 volts is not enough to get out the full 3000 watts from it. But meanwhile, we are going to demonstrate the over unity by using 12 volts to drive the generator so that we get a 24 volt that can charge to uh, 212 volt battery that is a 50 percent over unity so now if you put if you add more volts to it you get more out of it you can give it uh, like a 50 a 48 volts 50, 48 volt will drive this and it will give you the complete 3000 watts to power a whole house so but, but you have to run it through an inverter a control a controller to charge battery and an inverter now we are using the output we pass the output through a a bridge rectifier the bridge rectifier has a smoothening uh, capacitor connected to it then uh, a an inductor to hold the current that's an inductor this is the capacitor this is the bridge rectifier now these are the are the uh, the power source. I mean the output. This is the output. So I have two of them. 60 watt, 60 watt, 120 watts connected in series. That's 24 volts from from uh, this. So we have to off the switch for the output first. While we on turn on the the power. The sun now. Sun now. The sun now. Two plus. Now I'm going to turn on the. Now the outputs are on. The generator is on. The motor is driving it, 12 volts, and uh, I have uh, 24 volts output. I can charge two batteries because the voltage, the third voltage that is coming out is uh, 30 something volts. So I can charge two batteries. That's it. Thank you.